Good morning, guys. Uh, if you're just tuning in, all you're going to need is a couple set of dumbbells. If you only have one set of dumbbells, that's okay. But if you have a light set of dumbbells, we're going to use that. If you have a heavier set of dumbbells, we're going to use those as well for the lower extremities. Uh, just a quick explanation of what we're doing before we get going. Uh, if you're used to the classes, it's going to be the same setup. If you're not used to the classes, it's going to be uh, one minute on a weighted exercise, um, and then a, a minute on a cardio or core based exercise, uh, back to back for about 30 and 35 minutes. Okay, after that, then we go into core um, and cardio. Okay, so the last 10 to 15 minutes will be core, uh, a little bit of cardio, and then we go into a stretch, and then we all get to relax, get some food, get some breakfast, and we'll be good to go. And again, if you're new, haven't been in my class before, my name's Jacob, been here for a little bit, maybe about two years. Um, and uh, because I'm not here with you guys to, uh, to demonstrate, well, I'm, I'm gonna demonstrate, but if I'm not here to fix form, do your best to, to watch me. Um, if there's something that's bothering your knees or your hips or your shoulders, uh, best thing to do is maybe just skip that exercise um, or when I give you, uh, options for exercises, um, if any of those help, uh, go ahead and perform the second option that I explained. Okay, so. <clears throat> Warm up. Warm up's gonna be opposite hand, opposite foot. Okay, you do your best to keep your legs slightly bent. Okay, you might feel that a little bit in your hamstring right back here. Just do a couple reps of that one. Okay, opposite elbow, opposite knee, cross the body. So you're breathing. Okay, just getting some blood going. Right opposite toe. You're gonna bring that opposite toe up off the ground. You're gonna reach for it, stand all the way up, and then switch. We're gonna go right to body weight squat. Shoulder width apart, okay, head chest is up. You're gonna bend from the knees, but you're also hinging from your hips. So we wanna to try to keep our knees behind our toes as best we can on the way up. Squeeze those glutes. Give you guys another preference here. Okay, knees, feet still sitting behind the toes, hinging from the hips. Still warming up. Again, breathing through the nose, out through the mouth. And relax. Arm swings. Try to open up that chest and back. So first set, okay, I'm gonna demonstrate as we go. So again, one minute on a, a weighted exercise, one minute on a core cardio exercise, depends. Um, and then we go from there. So I'm gonna demonstrate everything as we go, so don't worry. First one, it's gonna be a squat, curl press. So if you have heavier dumbbells, so you can try those first. If you only have one set, that's okay, just use that set for everything. Uh, first one's gonna be squat, curl press. So squat, curl, press overhead for one minute, starting now. Okay, so again, hinge from the hips, press it overhead. Make sure you're using those glutes. Push those hips forward. If you feel like you're using those, or you feel like you're using the back, it's incorrect. Okay, and squeeze that core. Squeeze those glutes. Everything nice and tight. 30 seconds. Again, make sure we're breathing.
and relax. Cardio is going to be a side step. Okay? Or jumping jack. Either one. So side steps. Okay, now this should be too crazy. It's going to help keep our heart rates up. 45. Again, if this is too easy, you have your jumping jacks. Okay, either one. Five seconds. And relax. Next one's a deadlift to a high hold. Shoulder width apart, slightly bent in that knees. From there you bend over from the hips. So bending over from the hips, squeeze those glutes, send all the way up, wrist the chin, elbow above your wrist. Okay? That lift, core tight, squeeze that butt, wrist the chin, elbows above your wrist. Repeat it. Okay, keep everything tight. Again, go ahead and try your heavier set. If you have a heavier set, if not, go ahead and use your lighter set or the same little dumbbells you have. 30. Okay, make sure we're hitting you from that hip. Super important, guys. Chest is up, shoulder blades are back, so that our back is straight. 10 seconds. And relax. High knees. Okay. Bring those knees all the way up. Arms should be parallel to the floor. If you can get them to touch your arms, go ahead and do that. Try to drive those knees up as high as you can. This is it. Keep that core tight. Make sure you're breathing. Okay, keep those arms straight. Thirty seconds. Okay, keep those knees up as high as you can. Don't cheat. Don't bring them down here. Those hands up. 15. Perfect. Next one is a back lunge to a press. Okay, hold it with one hand. Okay, the leg that's going back is the same hand that holds the dumbbell. So back lunge. Press, back lunge, press. Okay, now this is a little bit difficult. Balancing on one leg. Okay, so if you can't balance, just gonna lunge it, press in that stationary lunge. Same exact thing. Just takes away the stability part out. Okay, so again, it's gonna be here. Go press, or in the stationary. Okay? Make sure you're staying on the same leg. Do not switch. 20 seconds. Okay, keep it going. Again, chest and head it up. Keep that back straight. Good. Switching legs. Okay. Check it out if you need to. Alright, again, same hand that the leg goes backwards. Bring it up to a press. It's too hard to balance on that leg. All you're gonna do is stay in a stationary lunge. Same thing. Head and chest are up. Keep that core tight. Keep you from feeling wobbly. Oops. 
30 seconds. One, grabbing your dumbbells, gonna be in a bridge, bridge up. That core stays nice and tight, guys. Squeeze this as hard as you can. Glutes are engaged. Squeeze those glutes. Dumbbells and hands. Okay, chest press. Okay, keep that core tight. Okay, make sure you extend your arms all the way up. Okay, but without. Protracting. Keep those shoulder blades engaged on the floor. Okay, so you're just tension from that shoulder. Okay, make sure you're breathing, as always. Core's engaged. 20 seconds. Five seconds. Perfect. We're gonna relax. Throw those hands underneath our glutes. Gonna protect our back. Okay. As always, that core stays super tight. And we're gonna do some big pedals. This is it. Okay, if you can, you can keep your head and shoulders off the floor like I am right now, or you can relax that back. Okay. Super important to make sure this mid part of your back, this part right here, stays flat on the floor. Okay, protect your back, keep everything engaged, and you are breathing. Okay, nice big pedals. Twenty seconds. Okay, keep those pedals big. Keep that back on the floor. Keep it moving. Five seconds. And relax. Make your way back on your feet nice and slow so we don't pass out. Okay, again, going back to our heavy set, if you have a heavy set of dumbbells, if not, use the same set you've been using. Okay, racked up at the top, okay, all the way down to the bottom, just gonna bob. Most of you guys have done this, most of you don't like this because it burns, but that's the point. It's supposed to. Okay, show me a different angle. See those knees are sitting behind my toes, head and chest are up. Make sure that core is tight, make sure you're breathing. 25. And if you're burning, you're doing it right. Don't stop. Try to stay down there the whole time. 15. All the way to the bottom of your squat. You shouldn't be up here. All the way to the bottom. Five. Relax. Okay, going back to our side steps or our 
guard jumping jacks. Either one of those. Keep it moving. Okay. So just keep your heart rate up. Active rest. Make sure if you need water, you get water at your own pace. I'm not going to stop. If you need water, go and get some water. Get right back at it. Thirty seconds. Keep it up. Keep it up. Fifteen. Five. Perfect. Arnold press. We've done these before. Pinkies to thumbs. Pinkies are in. Thumbs are in. Okay. If you have a heavy set, try those first. If it's too heavy, go down to your lighter ones. Okay. Keep that core tight. Good form. The dumbbells get too heavy, set them down, just use your hands. Okay, 25. Don't stop. Don't stop, should be burning. 10 seconds. Perfect. Next one, squat jacks. Go reach down with your opposite hand, sit down into that squat, bring them up and over. This is it. Okay, again, if that's too hard, revert right back to this. This is it. Okay, do your best. Okay, squat jacks, as you get low in that squat, core is tight. Keep it going. All right. Should not be easy, guys. Should be pushing. Should be pushing, no matter if you're here or on the squat jack. 30 seconds. Fifteen. Keep it going. Almost there, five. Nice, relax. Back to legs. Okay, we have a squat to a calf raise. Squat to a calf raise. Okay, make sure you're squeezing these calves. Hold them for a second at the top, bring it back down, sit back to that squat. Okay, same dynamics. Knees are sitting behind your toes. Five. Relax. Back in your mats. Okay, on your stomachs. We're gonna go to a climber. So you can either be here or this is your tool tap. This is it. Keep that core engaged. Make sure you're breathing. Okay, if your mat's slippery like mine, I'm gonna slip over a little bit. So a little tap. Keep it tight. Make sure you breathe in. Keep those hands beneath your shoulders.
15. Relax. Back on your feet. Dumbbells in hand. Either your heavy set or your light set, doesn't matter. Okay, bent over rows. Right here. And squeeze those shoulder blades. It's all about these guys. Okay? It's all about those shoulder blades. So bend over from the hips, core tight, and chest to rub. Bring those dumbbells straight in. Straight into your side. Squeeze those shoulder blades at the top. 40 seconds. Focus on those blades. Squeeze them together. You want to drive the movement with your elbows. Pull those elbows back. 20 seconds. Ten. Good, relax. Back on the floor. Okay, you're skiers. Or I call them mat jumps. So you're either here, side to side, or right here. Okay, up to you. Fifteen. Relax. Hey, push ups. You need to do it on your knees or on your feet. Totally up to you. On your knees, hips are flat. Elbows come to the side. If that's too hard. You're gonna go to a wall. You're gonna do the same thing on the wall. It's up to you. Knees, feet, or on the wall. 45 seconds. Ten. Relax. Next one. Almost done. Secondary muscle groups. Biceps and triceps. Bicep curls. Nice and easy. Keep those palms out. Elbows are tucked into your sides. See this? All the way down, all the way up. Full extension. 30. Five. Relax. Next one. Back to those squat jacks. Right here. Okay? If you don't want to do that, you can just do a jump. 
Lay nice and soft. Or back to that side step. Either one. Okay, squat jacks, opposite hand. Get nice and low. Other one's your squat jump. Or side step. Keep it going, 40 seconds. 40 seconds and you're done. Keep it going. 30. Twenty. Fifteen. Ten. Okay, don't stop. Five. Nice. Relax. Triceps. Come with different choices. Over the head. Okay, you want to keep those elbows. Pointing forward or bent over. Right here. Either one. Make sure you focus. Focus on the squeeze. Don't squeeze that tricep. You know one of the ones I showed you. We got this one. Or this one. Hinge in from the elbow. You should be swinging. Elbows don't move. It's just that hinge. 30 seconds. Keep it going. 20 seconds. 15. 10. Should be burning. Should be burning. If you're not burning, you're not, you're not squeezing. Five. Relax. One more cardio. Back to those high knees. Bring those knees up. All the way up. All the way up. Try to get them to touch those arms if you can. All the way up. 40 seconds. those arms parallel to the floor. Twenty-five. Don't stop. Fifteen. Ten. Starting on core, we're going to be on our backs, okay? Lay it down, minute apiece, right on this, okay, you should be on your floor, one minute per exercise, crossing one leg over, cross one leg, Opposite elbow, opposite knee. Engage, squeeze your core. Focus on what you're doing, just don't go through the motion. Engage, make sure you're breathing. In through the nose, out through the mouth. 30 seconds. Again, you should be staying on the same side. Do not switch. 20. 10. 10. Perfect. Switching sides. Same thing, but switch legs. Opposite elbow, opposite knee. Here we go. Make sure you're breathing. Engage. Focus on those abs. Squeeze. Again, make sure you're breathing. In through the nose, out through the mouth. 30 seconds. 
10. Perfect. Hands underneath your glutes. Ready to flutter kick. Again, head can be up like this, or it can be down. Nice big ones, if the little ones are too easy, or nice and small. Bend your legs, it's too easy from there, or too hard. Okay, do your best. Keep that back flat. Okay, nice and big if it gets too hard, or bent, if you're doing a bicycle. Either one. Twenty-five. Keep it going. Keep it tight. Make sure you breathe. Should be burning. Five. And relax. Planks. Okay, most of you guys know what a plank is. You can go on your hands right here, okay? But we go down to our knees, or sorry, our elbows. Holding it for one minute. Keep that core tight, hold that stomach in. down to those knees. Do the same thing. Keep it up. 25. injury and allows for full mobility and exercises. So starting off, find some wide legs, toes are up to the ceiling, and reach down as far as you can. It doesn't matter if you're here or down here. These legs need to stay flat. Okay, so just hold it there. Try to breathe, try to relax. Take it over to one side, both hands. <clears throat> Switch sides, reach across. Again guys, this leg needs to stay flat, it doesn't matter how far. Switch it up, same thing, tuck that leg in, legs are flat. Okay, feet are together, pull them in as you can, grab your feet with your hands, Push your legs down with your elbows. Okay. Just keep that chest up. Chest is up. Breathe. Try to relax. Feet are in front. Okay. Legs are flat. Reach 
after those toes. Okay, again, it doesn't matter if you're grabbing your knees or your ankles or your toes, these legs have to stay flat. Okay, bring one leg up, cross it over, take that opposite elbow, put it in that knee, twist it back. Other side, cross that leg, opposite elbow, twist it back. Okay, good leg all the way down on your back. One leg is extended. Take the other leg, pull it into your chest, give it a nice big hug, hold it nice and tight. Switch legs. Both legs in. Give them a nice big hug. Rock it side to side without falling over. Try to relax that back. Okay, again, one leg is extended. Take that opposite hand, grab that knee, pull it over to one side. Opposite elbow and shoulder on the floor. Go ahead and switch sides, same thing. Opposite hand, pull that body over to one side. Keep that elbow and shoulder on the floor best you can. Okay, turning over to your stomach. All right, we're gonna kick back to child's pose. Okay, try to set your hips all the way back to your feet. Relax your head down. Bring it up to all fours. Take opposite hand, reach down underneath. Then switch sides, same thing. Reach down under, get that torso twisted. Throw one leg in front of the other, okay? You can either be up here or you can be down on the floor. Give it an extra lean forward. You're gonna feel that in your hips, maybe in the quad on the back leg. Okay, 
You guys stretching is just as important as, as lifting or working out, if not more important. Switch legs. Same thing, you can be up here leaning forward or down on the floor leaning forward. Okay, a few more. Kick it down into a pigeon. Easiest way to do this is start from here. Lay that leg down and lean into it. Take your time with it. Again, you can be up here or all the way down the floor if you're available to or able to. Okay, go ahead and switch legs. Other side, same thing. Take your time getting into this. Okay, you want to lean into it as much as you can. Okay, you're going to feel this in your glutes, your medius. Okay, one more time. We're kicking back to that child's pose. Kick it all the way back. Get those hips down to your feet. From there, bring it up to your feet, kick it down into downward dog. Try to push those heels down on the floor, push those hips back as much as you can. Bend those knees, walk it into your feet, bring it up nice and slow. From there, we're gonna bring our hands behind our back, push that chest up, pull those shoulders back as much as you can, try to breathe. Chest, pull it in. Switch it up. Okay, last one. Hand comes to the side. Pull the head over slightly over to one side. And feel it all the way down your neck here. switch. And relax. You guys are done. You guys did awesome. Hey, thank you guys for tuning in. If you have any questions for Mike or if it was too easy or too hard, please let him know so when I come in next time I can adjust the class a little bit. Thank you guys so much. Stay healthy, stay safe, and keep moving. You guys.